Hi, this is Magic from Advantech. I'm in charge of Industrial IoT Edge AI Master Division. It's great to have this chance to share our Edge AI progress. In recent two years, we see more and more industrial transformation is drove by AI technology. But in the same time, there are also lots of technology challenges happen. Today, I try to use three typical using scenarios to describe the technology obstacles and how we overcome these issues. As an AIoT enabler, consider the AIoT demand is quite fragmented. Advantech offers comprehensive of HAI products, include GPU server, HAI inference server, industrial AI system, and the edge sensor to fulfill market demand. As I said in the beginning, to realize AI in the field is quite challenging and complex. It's really rely on different partners' cooperation to deliver the right solution and deploy in the field. We understand that the ecosystem is the key to make things happen. So we have four types of key partners. That is cloud partners, domain-focused partners, accelerator partners, and the focus channel partners. That's a winning eco-partner group of next step AI realization. Based on such alliance, we could have followed cases be successful. First of all, it's the upgrade of warehouse management by AI technology. Due to COVID, the demand of online e-commerce is getting stronger than before. Those EC vendors face the problem of lack of labor. But at the same time, they also need to fulfill the demand. In the case, online warehouse management becomes critical at this moment. Advantech has lots of global EC customers. We work with them to build up the management system and AGV. Later, I will share more details. Secondly, improvement of AOI by AI. AOI is a very mature application, but when adaptive learning-based AOI can dramatically change the game rule, especially the distributed structure can be another cost-effective and high-precision solution for this domain. Last, I would like to share is about smart traffic management. It's also an application which was talked a while. But how to realize this in the field with AI technology? We got some experience can share to you. OK, let's move to first part. In warehouse management, I will take AGV as an example. AGV is not a new technology. We could imagine this. There are lots of AGV co work in the warehouse efficiently. But if it's just a scheduling work, it's much easier work. But think about that. That is when we equip the vision capability to recognize the goods which AGV carry. Then it will become more complex. To support such real-time scheduling and task adjusting, we should enable the microservice structure on that. In the past, microservice structure is only utilized in backend service architecture. But today, consider the computing power of each system is much powerful than before. We could migrate the container-based structure on the AGV. The benefit to do that is, first, we could dynamically upgrade the ability of AGV. Second, the AGV can be real-time backup as high availability. AGV won't be the stop task due to the unpredictable hardware issue. Let's first discuss about the pick and place and the packing inspection. In general, there are four major packing applications in the warehouse. Packing inspection, pick and place, play management up and down the shelf. After enabling AI technology in those applications, it tremendously improves the job efficiency. Regarding the packing inspection, majorly, the AI technology can help to recognize and confirm the objective. Traditional way is to use 3D camera to confirm the packing size. But after integrate AI with 3D camera, we got improvement of RGBD. RGBD means red, green, and blue three major colors, and include the depth of map. By such technology upgrade, those inspections significantly improve the precision. Another important application is pick and place. 
it involves motion control. In the past, through the uh, applications, we use vision technology as an assistant. That's where we set up the cap for objective, and when the robot arm approaches the objective, vision can double confirm the location. But when 3D integrated with DL AI, we could directly use vision with embedded sensor as robot arm guidance. The last is play and shelf management. AI can help confirm the available space and the order of pick and place. Those are current practice of major unmanned warehouse management. Actually, even though AI technology is changing rapidly, but for depth measurement, we mostly use 3D and 2D camera co-work together in order to have better efficiency. Basically, we have some criteria to select the right 3D camera for different scenarios and the environment. Let me give you an example. Recently, we worked with a customer who is making an inspection equipment for glue quality of car components. The procedure needs to be 0.1 millimeter. Those to use laser triangular 3D camera with 3D modeling method to achieve the precision requirements. Next, I will try to share the case about AI. How to use AI to lower miss inspection rate? Rule-based inspection is the majority of AOI industry. How AI can improve it? We learn there is overkill inspection is critical, especially for passive or semicon components. That means when typical AOI equipment inspection the components, there are 10% to 30% of components which are striking out due to the overkill. If we could adopt deep learning-based inspection. There are at least 80% to 90% of good quality components can be sold out. It brings very huge economical value. We all know that GPU is a major accelerator for AI applications. In last NVIDIA GTC event in March, they announced their GPU slicing technology to support distributed structure. What is distributed structure? That means we could consolidate motion control, classification, measurement, and etc. functions in one central server and have GPU as an analysis accelerator to support each inspection station. The benefits of this structure can lower down the cost of hardware and increase the efficiency of setup. For detail of GPU slicing, I won't address too much here. You could find the information from the website. Last, I would like to share is the applications require cross-platform, collaborative co-work. Actually, in our experience, cross-platform is necessary for most of AI applications. When the image source comes from the IP camera, FPGA is better to handle image preprocessing. CPU can do the sequence management and use GPU for accelerated computing. We have an intelligent traffic management project. It's a typical case requires such co cooperation. The case uses GPU to make traffic flow and car type identification and use CPU for signal management and control. We have more and more customers as to have the system can conclude at least two types of computing ability in one system. And sometimes also want to have integrated camera into the complete system. In summary, that would be the trend for next AI system building. To have more functions, to be smaller size, to be set up in harsh environments. That's why Advantech can be the major AI system provider in next AIoT wave. Because we have, and we already have such kind of 30 years in edge computing. That's my presentation. Thank you for your listening. Thank you.